Hey and welcome back to Kumik Weekly, bringing you the most recent Chinese stew prices and market trends every week. If you're new here, simply hit the subscribe and let us right here. Don't miss out on any future updates. Stew prices this week were a real roller coaster. First, there was a sharp decline, but then, to our surprise, there was a slight rebound that brought a glimmer of hope to the market. However, the overall level of prices was still lower than last week. At first, the banking crisis sent shock waves through the steel market, causing steel prices to plummet at a breakneck pace. But thankfully, the situation got under control and we saw a small array of optimism as the market's risk sentiment started to improve. This led to a slight increase in steel prices, although they're still lower than last week. Now let's take a look at the production and consumption level this week. From the supply side, with the profit of steel mills maintaining relatively low, room for production increase continues to contract. This week, China's steel production increased by 142,000 tons, and it is expected that its short-term supply will mainly see only small increases. On the demand side, speculative needs have recovered to a certain degree, after the steel prices stabilized and rebounded. In the meantime, steel from end users also improved, with China's apparent demand for steel increasing by around 241,000 tons this week. Lastly, China's steel inventory decreased by 502,000 tons this week, though the decline remained slow. As we look ahead to next week, we believe that the market is shifting away from macroeconomic factors and returning to a focus on supply. This shift means that demand will once again become the primary factor influencing steel prices. Our analysis suggests that we can expect China's steel demand to continue to rise in April, with the seasonal demand peak anticipated within the next two to three weeks. With these factors in mind, we expect to see steel prices showing some fluctuations next week, but we also anticipate that this will be moderate in nature. Well, how do you see the Chinese steel market? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button to stay updated for more information in the days ahead. And leave your thoughts in the comments below. See you next week. Bye-bye!